Hey, this is Michael and I'll show you uh, Concept UI, the new web interface for Concept JS. And in this video uh, we will see how it can improve our experience on writing tests. So web interface really help us to track our tests, analyze our tests, but uh, it can even change the way how we write our tests. So if you already use Concept JS, you will find that uh, some concepts are the similar, but uh, the cool thing is that we won't need even to look into the code, into the configuration file, into the terminal, because everything will work in the web. So uh, let's go and see how it uh, works. So this is my browser and uh, a demo project here, but more importantly what I need to uh, uh, see is uh, a write test, a very very motivated button for me to click on it. So it suggests me a few simple steps to do before I need to, I can write my tests. So at first I need to uh, enable the window mode. So I'm not sure at this moment am I uh, uh, running my tests in headless mode or in head held mode. So to ensure that tests will be executed in a window and I will see it. I clicked uh, this uh, setting, so I, this is all configurable here. Next I will enable a single session mode and this is feature uh, solely created for, for this web interface that will allow us to uh, keep the same browser open between test execution. And when I have uh, everything done, I can update the code here, like let me open a github web page, open github.com and then launch a test. So this will open me a browser, for this video I am using Test Cafe, uh, because uh, this is very cool new technology and it allows me to uh, execute my tests not only in uh, Chrome, but in Firefox, maybe Safari and other browsers and without using Selenium. So as, uh, as I wanted to show you, the test cafe uh, works without Selenium because it doesn't open the GitHub directly, but proxifies a request to its own internal web server. So you can see how um, that it uh, changes the uh, web page by adding the control um, uh, mechanism we can use in our tests. So this is how Test Cafe works and it opened GitHub for us. So next uh, thing I'm going to do, I'm splitting uh, the uh, screen so I could uh, have both windows on the screen and resize them so I have more of current browser and less of a test I'm writing. Uh, test didn't stop, it, it's paused. And you see the interactive pause mode uh, you are really familiar with in uh, Concept.js. So I can click on the marketplace menu item and you see this nice pointer which actually performs a click. Um, then I can uh, probably search for uh, some apps field field, you see the auto-completion uh, for apps, uh, yeah, uh, auto-completion works as in terminal and it really helps me to write my tests faster, so I want to see something about testing here. So you see it filled in the field, uh, but it didn't search for, uh, for me, so I need to press key enter to ensure the test has started. So now uh, you see that I found a lot of uh, useful services on GitHub and I wanted to check that, for instance, Upware uh, uh, is in the list. So I see Upware and uh, if I try to see that there is Tra uh, Travis CI. Yeah. Um, okay, so this was incorrect comment. I'm trying to see Travis CI yeah, and it failed because uh, surprisingly there is no Travis CI yeah, in the list. Wow. So uh, what I need to do next uh, is I'm copying successful steps here. I'm putting them 
into my desk here and stop in the session mode. So um, test has finished. I can relaunch it. And uh, but the browser is still uh, on the screen because we use the single session mode. I'm launching test once again and see how it proceeds through all the steps we just did it at this moment. So um, I didn't show you how, how I'm searching for locators using the dev tools. Uh, basically because I'm using the Chrome the dev tools are available, they help me uh, to find locators. But for this uh, video I wanted just to show how it works and I use the simplest locators are possible. So test has finished. Uh, you see it passed, the uh, interactive mode also started and you can improve and update your test. So when you uh, see, see that your test is finished, you can just copy this code into your project and use it there. By the way, uh, you can use also uh, page objects like user page, login page. So everything is available from this interface as well. And um, yeah, you see how easy it works here. So I'm exiting mode and uh, uh, this is uh, what I really like about Concept UI. I really want to try it on something big and try it a really cool test because I think that this is a very new feature that will save you a lot of time and bring you the real joy to your testing and uh, will uh, help you write your tests more efficiently, faster and see the very fast feedback from your code. Thanks for watching and install Concept UI and Concept.js if you didn't do it yet.